and is the birth of Russian tank doctrine. Past shapes future. The T-34 defined all parts of the Soviet and later Russian tank doctrine. A simplistic design, no use of skilled labor, easy to reduce in mass quantities, and quantity over quality. The T-34 was used in other major conflicts around the world during the Cold War, used by North Korea and China in the Viet in the yeah, North Korea and China in the Korean War, and used by the Viet Cong in the Vietnam War. Change over time. I'll be honest, there's not a lot of that's changed with the T-34-85 or the people that or the Soviet Union and now the uh, now Russia that's used it. After World War II, the Soviet Union and then Russia's defense and attack plans haven't really shifted in a major way since the war. One change is that since World War II, Russia has many powerful defensive positions set up facing Europe, which is understandable. You have to realize that Russia and the Soviet Union, or the former Soviet Union, at this time has now faced three major offensives into their country. The first was Napoleon's invasion of Russia. The second was Germany's invasion of uh, the Soviet Union in World War I, or Russia and then the Soviet Union. And now Germany's, again, second invasion into the Soviet Union in World War II. Continuity over time. Since the end of World War II in 1945, Russia's tank policy of quantity over quality has remained the same. Its defensive strategies of scorched earth have also remained, and the idea of waiting until winter to slow down the attackers has remained a staple of Russian military plans. And of course, sources.